hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here my name is esther morfrey so in today's video i want to show you or share something that is very important if you've been following my videos um i have done similar video but that one was for beginners uh it was beginner friendly uh today i want to do a chart analysis uh, that is more advanced and if you have not watched that video, I will put a link. You can go follow it. It's called How Do You Analyze Your Forex Chart? So at least begin with that video if you are new. And then after you master what I said on that video, you can now jump in in this video and maybe uh, you will upgrade your chart analysis. So guys, without wasting any time, let's get down into the video. Before I forget, I get this question. So many people are asking me which broker I use. I use Paperstone. So this is how Paperstone looks like. And um, this, um, I use Paperstone uh, broker. So what you need is that uh, you just need to go to, uh, in the description box below, you will find a link with paperstone.com. Uh, just click the link and you'll go to the uh, uh, Paperstone website, go and create an account. The best thing with Paperstone, I've used them for months now and they are good. Uh, I would recommend them because the transaction, they have so many transaction uh, methods such as PayPal, they have M-Pesa, they have Bank, they have Visa, they have, uh, they have wire transfer. So I would prefer a broker who the payment method is not a hassle. More so when you're in Kenya and you know we like using M-Pesa, M-Pesa is instant, their withdrawal is instant. So I would highly recommend Paperstone Broker. So the link will be below my description box below. If you want to check them out, you can click follow the link, register with them and start trading. So guys, without wasting any time, let's get down into the video. So we have said this is advanced. We have said this is advanced chart analysis. I have, I will repeat again. If you have not watched the video that I did on chart breakdown on how to analyze your Forex chart for just uh, beginner friendly, kindly, uh, there's that video actually i'll put the link in description box watch that video before you watch this one so uh with time i've come to realize that if you want to be sure with your trades you need to uh to up your game on chart analysis and today we want to analyze gbp jpy the first thing that we need to start with is monthly uh analysis so on the time frame but you just choose the monthly and uh, uh, monthly time you highlight it highlight it because uh sometimes it's not highlighted just uh highlight it to add to your favorite then take weekly then daily then four hours and maybe 30 minutes but we will focus on four time frames that is monthly weekly daily and four hours so uh let's go to our monthly chart GBP JPY our monthly chart so this is what we see so what is the first thing that you do when you open your monthly chart I know many people don't want higher time frame because they think uh, you will spend a lot of time waiting for position waiting for opportunities but let me tell you if you have been failing or you have been losing in this market maybe your time frame is the problem maybe you're using one minute five minutes that has a lot of noise kindly try to follow this video try to change your time frame and come back comment down below and tell me if there's a difference in your trading uh trading journey so the first thing that you need to do is to highlight both support and resistance. As we have two positions. We have uh, this is our our support where the market has gone lowest, and then we have the second uh, resistance where the market has gone the highest. Now you have to position. At least you have started to analyze your chart. Remember, guys, this is advanced. Uh, uh, advanced uh, video so when I say resistance I don't need to explain what is resistance because I've, like I've said 
you have to watch my first video where I break down everything. So when I say resistance, because you're advanced, I know already you know what I mean. So this is our resistance and this is our support. So guys, um, after you get those two positions, you start asking yourself, what kind of a, a market is, is this? Who is in control? What else can you see? What else can you identify? Can you identify resistance in the middle of the chart or, or the, yeah, because as you can see, when we have spotted our resistance and below our support, now we have uh, this uh, market or price in this in this uh, in this position in this box. So can we at least identify another resistance or another support? Of course, we can do that. So we can come here. You can see we have another resistance where the market stopped, and then we have another support. So at least you have those four positions and they are very, very important to know uh, to know what the market is telling you. The market communicates and it's you to know how does it communicate. So after you have identified at least two resistance to support and this is on monthly time frame the next thing that you do is you take your trend line we want to spot this the key places where the market stopped because when the market stops on monthly time uh, time the monthly time frame it means that that key place or key zone is very very important so all we do we take our trend line we mark the first place the market stopped you can see this is our highest place. We cannot go to this one because this one shoots above this previous high. So we'll start with our, pre our, our last high and then we come and connect it to our second high. And then we try to connect it to our third high like that. So you can see uh, still you are trying to identify the key position. You can know uh, a certain day. Let me just pick this. Um, we call it the highlight. Um, you can see the market was, uh, was reacting on this zone. So whoever had marked this on monthly time frame around, around the month of June, they were able to get a sell position. So it is very easy to identify uh, zones that are very important in the chart. Whoever marked this, they, were, they knew automatically there will be a reaction. And as you can see, let me just zoom it. You can see that's what happens. There's a reaction here. So we can just put that as our target place. So, now you have three zones. So as long as the market has not broken this, we cannot call this an uptrend yet on monthly time frame. It is on a zone, it is on a channel, that's what I mean. So this market, it was trending down. You can see it is creating, what does it create? Can you identify, can I give you one minute to try to identify what this market is creating? We had a high here. And then the high did not break our previous high. So it created a low high, meaning the sellers are in control. And then these sellers, they never broke this low because this is our high, this is our low. If you remember on the previous uh, video that I told you, I really emphasized on high highs and high lows and low lows and low highs. So this being our high and this being the lowest of the market, the sellers were supposed to come this way and break that channel. Let me just uh, highlight that to a bright color. So they were supposed to come and break this low, but guess what? They didn't break the low, and that's why the market is in the channel. So unless the market moves outside the channel, we cannot clearly say it is an uptrend or a downtrend, but at the moment, we can see low highs are being created, giving sellers more uh, control over the market. So again, after you have marked that, I don't think there's something else we need to identify on monthly time frame. So after you have identified the two resistance, let me repeat, you identify the two supports and then you mark your trend line, your key area. You can go to weekly time frame. Remember, I'm just showing you how you, you, you work with your time frame. You can go to weekly time frame 
and the best thing with weekly time frame we will be able to see what the market is doing you can see for a quite a while the market was ranging on this zone let me just show you it was ranging on this channel the market was really on this channel for quite a while and then it broke here but uh, finding our zone that we have marked with our trend line, the market is starting to come down. So in weekly time frame, we still have uh, sellers are still in control. So if you're wondering uh, how do I identify the trend, how do I identify the strongest trend, what should I do? This is what you do. You just uh, go to monthly, again you go to weekly, and then now you'll be able to see. Uh, you'll be able to see what's happening. You can see the market is on a channel. When it's on a channel, we just want to know what has been broken. And as you can see, uh, the buyers here, they were almost getting uh, the market reached that place and that's when it reacted. So that's what I'm saying. Until it breaks this zone, this trend line, that we cannot say this is a bullish market it is a, a a bearish a bearish that is on a channel okay guys this is a, another zone let me just create this zone for you i call them key zones so this is a zone for sellers and we can see for sure that they have really tried for some times now but they have they are unable so the first touch is here so what you do is try to understand what is really happening so there's the first touch and remember this is a weekly market second touch that touch and then the market is going up and then it has found another resistance because trend line works as resistance and now the market is going down according to weekly time frame so after you get that so for the weekly time frame we are able to identify this zone remember on monthly we could not identify this zone because um, monthly it doesn't give us more details so let's go to daily time frame so the daily time frame uh, again at the trend line it has created another channel and the best thing with the now the daily time frame remember the uh remember what we had said it's our resistance remember this resistance now it is acting as support so we have another we have another zone we have another zone here so remember when we were putting this uh on the monthly we didn't know even what to expect now we can see clearly on daily chart the market is on this channel and then uh, it's like it doesn't the sellers are not able to break this channel of the trend line so on the daily the market now is showing us what to expect now for your final analysis guys it's four hours now we have all that information we know the market is on a channel all we are waiting is to see can sellers break this channel of 149.20 or will they break the channel of 154 uh 154 where was the last high 152 153.30 so where where will the market eventually go so when you come to four hours now you have a clear uh you have a clear way i'll just uh, rub my the most um I just rub this just to delete that because again it's so magnified so you can see very well we have the channel is still there we have this channel and we are not uh, as long as it has not broken this channel we would want to know where will it go next but because it has not broken that channel you see it has not broken that channel now this is where you magnify to see everything and in a four hours chart that's when you see a double bottom double top you see head and shoulder all these things all these patterns i'll be doing a video shortly after this video so on your four hour chart that's when you'll notice what is happening the market now i can show you very clearly because remember on monthly we could hardly see the market started at this level. This is where the market started. 
here at this zone so uh, to go down after it hit our trend line the market started there and you can see the buyers are creating lower highs lower highs again lower highs and here they created a, a double top so guys if you don't know about the patterns you need to pay attention i'll be doing these uh patterns videos to show you what you look when you have a double top or a double bottom so this one it has created a double top it has created a double top so after it created a double top and then it continued to go down i always say we don't predict but we react so the person who saw this possible double bottom actually had said this might, might be a possible double bottom but i didn't want to get into a buy because again in this trend the structure remains sell as long as the sellers have created these low lows you see the sellers have created these low lows so this buy it might be a retest of this zone so guys i don't want to make this video long i just want to show you how you analyze your charts and this is an advanced mode i'll be doing uh i think four patterns or if not five i'll be doing head and shoulder i'll be doing uh double top how to identify double top how to identify double bottom because again this is a double a double top actually it's a triple like one two three it's a triple top and then a double bottom how do i identify head and shoulder how do i identify all these patterns i'll be doing this those videos shortly so if you're interested comment down below and tell me you can't wait so guys uh thank you so much for watching until next time bye bye love you